Hello there, Aries. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing your new moon solar eclipse reading for June 10th. Um, the, the effects of the new moon can be felt, you know, a week before or a week after, but with this solar eclipse, the energies of what is coming new into your life can be felt for six months. So this is a really exciting time. The solar eclipse new moon is in Gemini, which means that we're trying to learn new things. We're getting this new curiosity in some area of our life. So we're going to take a look at your overall energies and what's coming in and then we'll take a look with the tarot to see what details we can get. So, and as usual, if you're enjoying uh, my content and this reading, I'd appreciate if you would like, share, or subscribe. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I have pre-shuffled these just to save time, but I haven't taken a look at them, but we'll shuffle the other cards on camera. Okay, so for your overall energy, you have the the man, which is this energy of, you know, um, uh, somebody new coming into your life that would be a male person. Now, this could be a romantic connection. It could be, you know, um, a new boss. It could be just a new companion or friend, new family member coming into your, you know, into your life. But also I get this sense that it could also be you stepping into your divine masculine because we all have divine feminine and masculine. And this could be you just stepping into your energy of you, <laughs> which is really nice energy. Um, and the, the man also is a symbol of the sun. Okay, so the sun brings lots of abundance and joy and love into our life. So we're going to definitely be clarifying that and seeing what that energy can be represent is also representing. Okay, so you also have the dance with a life card. So do something to change your energy. Yeah, I have this sense, Aries, that for some of you, you may have been, maybe feeling kind of like stuck right now. You know, like uh, your life isn't bad or anything, but it's kind of like you just feel like your energy is stuck. And I feel like for some of you, either you are going to come into better balance with yourself and get a more energetic energy about life or this person coming in is going to inspire you in some way to really step into your energy again and just get really playful like I'm getting that sense of you know just um, enjoying life again and you know for a lot of us like the restrictions around the pandemic and stuff are lifting and for you know some of us this can be an energy of just celebrating being able to be with others again and perhaps even people that you haven't seen in a long time so even the man there could represent you know um, significant male in your life that you haven't been able to see in some time. So, you know, a father, a grandfather, or, you know, a dear uncle, something like that. So take that as it resonates for you. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. I feel like some of you feel like you're kind of in this stuck energy because you have these burdens in your life, you know, that have kind of like been, you know, kind of tying you down. And it's kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go play for a little bit. You know, for some of you, I feel like maybe you've been working really hard, working on your finances, working on building a stable life for yourself. But now it's kind of like, okay, Okay, I'm ready to go play. <laughs> nice energy. Okay, so we are going to take a look um, at the energies presently in your life. Um, the obstacle that you might have on this new journey, you know, uh, with this solar eclipse and new moon. And then advice from spirit. And remember, you know, this can be, you know, over, you know, definitely over through the month of June, but even into, you know, December, about six months from now. So let's see what we have here. Wow. Okay. That, that was too much. Okay, let's give them another shuffle. Okay, so let's see, what is your present energy right now? Present energy is door to spirit. So, you know, a lot of you um, could be opening up 
and having this curiosity about your spirituality because the new moon solar eclipse in Gemini really is about the intellect, communication, um, those areas of our life. And you may be, you know, opening up to a new spiritual um, path that you're really curious about or one area of spirituality that you're really curious about. Uh, really, really interesting energy. I'm really drawn to, you know, I think these are feathers, you know, to these feathers on this, um, on, you know, on this, uh, dove, you know, I feel like for some of you, you're really stepping in. There may be somebody on your path that's going to come in and help you to, Enter the, a new level of spirituality, but it's not, you know, I love this card, be, especially with this one. It's not like, you know, a, a dark night of the soul energy or anything. It's kind of like an uplifting, perhaps an opening to understanding why things happened in the past like you know especially with this traveling lightly like some of you may be coming out of a time that was difficult even if you've healed from it you know I feel like your life right now might have that four of cups energy you know you're kind of stuck you're kind of like ready for your life to start again you've healed from something and to me this is kind of like an indication that you are definitely going to get this like almost uh uplift you know because I'm still I, I keep they they keep showing me this like uplift you see how this bird is kind of like lifting up right and I feel like you know you've been kind of not in a depressed energy, but just kind of ho-hum energy. And it's kind of like this person is going to come into your life or something is going to happen that you're all of a sudden like, whoosh, like, whoa, I'm excited about life again. Oh, it's a lovely energy. I really get in my um, heart space. I get like this really like excited kind of energy this just like those whoosh <laughs> kind of energy really interesting okay so let's look at your obstacle and remember with new moon something new is coming into our life but it also means there's something that we have to let go of in order to make room for this new thing so let's see what you have angel of strength you may feel like you don't have the strength to get over something in the past or the strength to let go of something or someone from the past. Um, and we have the line here, so it could be a Leo that, you know, you are um, kind of like having to let go, but you know, the sign doesn't really matter. But I feel like as soon as you let go of whatever this is, whatever painful thing happened in the past like I, once again I feel like you're healed from it but it's kind of like you haven't quite yet let it go but as soon as you let it go it's like you get this whoosh kind of energy it's kind of like yes you know like um not only have I healed but I'm ready you know to move on from it too I'm, you know releasing it a truly releasing and you know this traveling light it's kind of like when you let go of the burden right and you decide to simplify your life and to put down that past pain for good you're like yes I'm walking away from it and once again you get this like a whoosh I don't know <laughs> it's kind of like not a word I really use but it, it keeps coming um they keep saying whoosh Okay, and so let's see what your advice is. Door to romance. Okay, so I do feel like all along I have kind of felt like, you know, this um, this isn't meant to be a love reading, but I feel like, Aries, a lot of you do have a new love coming into your life. And, you know, it is someone that is going to come into your life that's going to make you feel like dancing again. To me, this is like the Three of Cups energy. It's celebrating. It's celebrating you. It's celebrating life. It's just being, you know, just really caught up and just being passionate about, you know, life in general. But also, you know, for some of you, you may have felt like, you know, love just wasn't going to be on your journey 
you know, um, again, and, you know, they're pointing out this is the number 33. That's a master number. So it could be, you know, definitely a soulmate, perhaps a little bit of, you know, a twin flame connection. Okay, so we are going to clarify these. First, we're going to clarify them with the good tarot, and then we'll use the light seers tarot. Okay, so let's see what we have. Door to spirit. We have Hermit card. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you have been solitary for some time. You know, it's, um, you, you've been kind of on this journey. You've gained some wisdom. You know, you've opened yourself up to, you know, a spiritual journey, but it's kind of like, you're, you've gained some wisdom. And I think with this new moon, once again, it's kind of like you're going to finally release something from the past. Really spiritual energy here. Um, if you know, I, I really feel like this is your energy. I really do. I feel like you've, you've, I, I really feel like the heart chakra is being opened here. Um, you know, we do have a heart here. But it's kind of like you're with this card. I feel like, you know, they have the doors here and it's door to romance. But, you know, the heart is like in a cage. And I think you've been protecting your heart for a very, very long time. Um, but I think the burden you may be putting down is that like you have a, a, a gratitude, a, a, an epiphany about why something in the past like why you had to go through that, you know, and I do feel like whatever you went through was very painful. And once again, I feel like you've healed from it. You know, you've gone on this spiritual journey. You've looked at it and all of that. But I think like your epiphany around the new moon is a little bit about like getting that final understanding about why some of that pain, like the lesson that you learned about going through that, that journey, that painful journey. But it's like, I think you already know what the lesson is. I think it's just like this epiphany about coming into a true appreciation of what a blessing something in the past was that, you know, you thought was not a blessing. And now all of a sudden you have like this epiphany about how strong you were and the strength that you've gained in yourself because of that journey, but also what a blessing it is because of the strength that you've gained, right? It's, um, it's, it's such a beautiful feeling, like just being really grateful. And it, I, I know for some people, you know, it's kind of like, how can you be grateful for something painful? But there is always a silver lining to every dark cloud. And once you're truly healed from it, it's like you get that epiphany about the understanding of why it happened and also this sense of appreciation for it. And I think you're coming into that star. Yes, like this is the true, true healing. For some of you, I feel... You know, this is your obstacle. Like you feel like you haven't had the strength to do the true healing. And I think you have been on this journey for a while and you're kind of like, I don't know. Like, am I going to really get that epiphany? Am I ever really going to see why this was a blessing? And you are. You definitely are. Like when you step into kind of like letting go of, of this past energy and then also kind of like starting to dance with joy again. Like I'm honestly being called to have, you know, like put on music and just dance, you know, just kind of like dance and, and, and move your body with music and to help spark some of this for some of you. And this is not going to resonate with everybody, but you know, especially with the dove, for some reason, I kind of got this message earlier, but I think especially with these two cards here, and this is not going to resonate with everybody, but if you are a person that lost a loved one, that they passed, okay, so it's not like a, a separation because you decide to break up or, you know, um, but they have passed, um, this is a message for you that they have been on this journey with you, this journey of healing. And for some of you, you may, 
have felt like you may have been doing some injustice to the love that you had with this past person if you truly healed. Like, you may have felt like, um, if I truly heal from, you know, losing this person, then am I, you know, am I, um, not showing true love to our relationship? Am I, you know, um, not respecting our relationship if I truly heal and move on to, you know, a new love. And this is definitely a message. And once again, this is not, you know, for everybody, but it's your, the person that has passed is, is coming into this message and letting you know, it's time for you to dance again. And they want you to dance. They want you to rejoice. They don't want to see you in, you know, in pain. They want you to move on. And they're, you know, their spirit is still with you. In fact, I think for a lot of you, they're guiding you through this. I think that this dove really is somewhat a, a past person for many of you, you know, even if it's not a romantic connection that has passed, but, you know, even a grandfather or father or, you know, even a grand grandmother or mother, but it's kind of like somebody is helping you on this journey. Okay, and in the end, you have nine of air, which is you're anxious. Yeah, anxious, messenger of earth. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. Really nice energy. This is taking you some time to get through. And we are going to clarify this because I feel like for some of you, yeah, this is that anxiety. Like if I step back into the world of romance, you know, am I, you know, um, not showing respect to someone that's passed or do I even really want to step, you know, for those of you that have gone through a, a breakup or a divorce that was, you know, tumultuous, <laughs> um, you know, do I even want to step back in to this? So we're going to clarify these cards really quickly, and especially this Nine of Swords, um, and we're going to get some advice too. Okay, world, yeah, you're stepping into a new world. You're coming out of this hermit energy, and you're stepping into a new world, um, and you're ready to dance again, right? It's definitely this energy of, I'm ready to dance again, and I think you're just kind of, you know, I think you, you're you just holding back. I feel like this is the Eight of Swords energy. Like, I just don't know if this is, you know, if... Am I really ready for romance again? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I, do, I think, you know, this is you being really, really good, being by yourself. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of an obstacle, okay? Um, you know, I can really, uh, I, I can relate to that. Like, you know, you've healed from a past connection, you know, uh, whatever kind of connection that was and for whatever reason it ended, you're, you're good. You've done the healing and you're feeling good. You're like, yeah, I'm good by myself. The Nine of Pentacles is kind of like the single lady card, right? Um, and it doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. But the energy of, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Whoever you think that this could be, and whether this is, you know, a past romantic connection or, you know, some other family member or friend that has passed, they're in both of these cards. They have helped you to get to this sense of um, building a life. Like you're, you're financially stable. You know, you're happy being and spending time by yourself. You know, you had that hermit card. You're good as you are. They've helped you on this journey. Okay. And, um, you know, I think it's kind of interesting because in this card, you know, we have all of these doves. They're helping you through your fears. That is the clear message my guides are telling me. Like, you know, they're on this journey with you. Like if you feel like you're, you're in some way betraying a past love, they're saying no. And look at this. Um, we have the Six of Cups here, which is, you know, sometimes a reconciliation cup, you know, or looking to the past. For some of you, I think this anxiety is looking at the past, whether, you know, um, 
you, you know, like, do you, did you really want to walk away from reconciling, right? Or do you want to reconcile with somebody from the past, but just looking at the past and being anxious about it? Kind of like that feeling, do I want to go through that again? But also a bittersweet, you know, like looking at the, at the good times, right? And just, you know, kind of wondering, like, is this really where I want to go? Do I really want to step through the door of romance? But look at this. You have the Empress. Yeah, this is the energy of creating a new life for yourself. And you have the world card here. Um, it's a step up. Because, like, here you are. You're happy by yourself. You built a great life for yourself. But the Empress energy is, like, taking that energy. And look at, here's the moon in this card, too. Um, you know, here's the moon here, right? It's you. The Empress really is this sense of nurturing and just loving life to the fullest and knowing that because she, and once again, the energy, the gender doesn't matter, but the energy of I have, I am, you know, I am everything that I ever really thought that I wanted and it allows you to attract a true romantic partner. Somebody that you can step into this new world with and create a new life. Like I feel like a lot of you really did feel that whenever uh, this past connection um, ended for whatever reason, like you were never going to open the door to romance again. You were just like, nope, shutting that down, right? And you built a life that was really good for yourself. You've had the strength to do the healing and build a great life for yourself, but you still haven't brought in the romance right? You were like not ready yet to step into that energy. And this is a spirit. And I really feel like for some of you, it is some past, you know, um, a loved one, whether it was a romantic connection or some other connection that has helping you on this journey to step back through, to have the strength to step back through into a door of romance. Wow, exciting. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Oh my gosh, yeah, this connection, whether it is with this, you know, um, male figure or not, you have definitely have a strong connection that is on your path. And especially with this door to spirit and the door to romance, like they're going to help you to open up and step through into this new, world and triumph you are going to feel so triumphant in this um this is like the chariot card like moving quickly into it through this door of romance like I think once you take you know this first step into this door of romance like you're going to like it's just going to go so well like do not worry you know, it's going to be triumphant. And, you know, the the things that you have been holding on to in the past are going to be let go of. You know, temptation is about holding on to something. And I feel like you may be holding on to, you know, your, your the burdens um, or the memories of someone from the past. And once you let go of that, you're going to have this whoosh effect. That's what you have to let go of is just, you know, the memories, right? It's kind of like you're, you're attached to those memories and you're, you're not sure if you can, you know, move away from that. But this is like, yes, you can. And you can create new memories with this new person coming in. And on the bottom, I just want to show you, you know, it's passion ignited. Like, I feel like a lot of you are living life in this, you know, once again, I'm good by myself type of energy. But... The problem is, is that there's no passion, right? There's no romance in this. And I think that this person is going to come in and help you to have this passion come back in. It's a really, really nice energy. 
Oh, Aries, what a lovely, lovely reading. Okay, so I'm going to pull, um, actually, because this really does feel a little bit like a new romance coming in, let's pull a romance angel card, and then we're going to pull a creativity oracle card. All right, romance, angel, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. You know, um, Aries, I, I'm going to say that this actually could be you. Um, and it's it's not because you're trying to deceive someone, okay? Um, but this card can come up when we are self-sabotaging ourselves so that we, you know, can't have or step into a new energy. And I feel like this is you you know, because we also have this temptation card, right? Uh, I feel like it, it's um, it's not a bad energy. I want to I, I want to say that it's kind of an energy of you just you, you know you may have friends that are kind of like oh I know somebody I want to set you up with somebody or something like that and and you you know or you do go out on a date and your friend says oh. How did it go? And what you're doing is you're kind of like really trying to protect your own heart. Because remember, we have this card where the heart is in the cage. And you're really trying to protect your heart because you have been through a real heartbreak. Um, and so you're protecting your heart. And so you're like self-sabotaging any new connections that may come onto your path. So just take a look at that. Like, I think spirit, and I think for some of you, you know, you have a past loved one that is helping you on this journey so that you can recognize that you do have the strength to love again. I think, you know, this card is really just, you're just unsure. Am I really ready to step into romance again? And once again, this is definitely... um you know, uh, an indication that, yes, you are. This is like this person coming into your life really is a very special soulmate. Um, and I think, you know, it is something to take a little risk on, you know, open the cage door and come on out and start dancing. Because even if this person that comes onto your path isn't the one that lasts forever, right? It's a person that's going to spark your passions again. Where was our passion ignited, right? You know, they're going to spark your passion to go ahead and go through the door of romance, you know, one more time. Um, yeah, because I think you're going to realize, yeah, I think I do want love in my life again. Really, really nice. Okay, so here is your um, creativity oracle card. Passion. <laughs> it will take passion for you to push through your self-criticism to get to a place of confidence. And I really feel like that is part of this, right? Like this person is going to, there's going to be somebody that comes onto your path that helps you to ignite your passions again. And then that will give you the, the push you need to put down your self-sabotaging, you know, um, energies. And remember, you're just doing that to protect your own heart. But I think there's going to be this shift with the new moon that you're going to be like, now, wait a minute. I'm good. I'm good. But I want more. <laughs> I want more. Now I want love too. Really super nice energy. Okay, so let's get an angel message card. And, um, and Aries, if you have enjoyed this, um, reading, I really would appreciate it if you would like, share, or subscribe. Okay, so we'll read your romance. Uh, this is your angel message. And um, let's see what we have here. Courage, dare to be different, to make mistakes, create, for it is in creation that you exist. In this world of dreams that stem from the eternal heart, you are one with all creation. All is possible. Go forth and be true to yourself, for it is only through being true to you that you can be true to others. Okay, so they are giving me so many messages. I'm going to try to get all of these out. Yeah, this is about you being true to yourself. 
you really do want love in your life. You are trying to protect yourself because of, you know, a past connection. Um, and so you're trying to, you know, keep your heart protected. You don't want to go through that again. But that really isn't um, true to you because you really do want a very special romantic connection in your life. And this is letting you know, yes, you do have the courage. Right now you may feel like I don't have the courage to really create the real life that I want, right? I have part of a life. I'm good by myself, but that's not the life I really want. I really want to share my life with somebody else. And having that courage to, you know, put yourself out there and to step through the door to romance because you really do. You have a spirit guide helping you through this, helping you to have the courage and the strength to see the beauty that you are and to be willing to share that, um, your love with somebody else once again. Well, Aries, what a beautiful reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. Bye for now.